I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find the least common multiple using prime factorization. Now, this is a very important concept when it comes to pre-algebra and elementary algebra courses because it really lays the foundation to help you find the least common denominator, which is actually an application of the least common multiple. So, it involves using factoring trees, and uh, we'll see how this is used right now. Suppose you want to find the least common multiple, the LCM, of these numbers, 12 and 18. Now, the pattern is pretty consistent in that you want to take both numbers and you want to create factoring trees out of both of them. Now with 12, you break it up this way. You can think of any two numbers and multiply to give you 12 and you'll be good to go. So most people often think of four times three. Now, what you do after that is see if you can break down each number further, if possible. Now four, four can be thought of as two times two. Three, that's about as good as it gets. So the factorization of 12 is really two times two times three. You're gonna leave that aside for right now. You're gonna do the same thing with 18. You're gonna break down 18 in as, you know, any first way that you want. Any two numbers multiply to give you 18. Some people will think of nine times two and go from there. Now, nine can be thought of as three times three, but the two is about as good as it gets. So 18 can be written in order two times three times three. Now, when it comes to finding the least common multiple, what you want to think about is look at the number of factors and see which number has the most of each number and circle it from there. So for example, between 12 and 18, who has the most twos? As you can tell, the 12 has more twos and it's got two of them. So you're going to circle those two twos. That's going to be part of your least common multiple. Next, you move on to see if who has the most threes and circle that amount. Now, between the 12 and 18, the 18 has more threes, so you're gonna circle those two threes. Now, if you ever have a tie when it comes to LCM, for example, if both of them had two threes, you just circle one pair. So the three and the three is part of the least common multiple. And then you multiply what you have from here, and that's gonna be the LCM. Two times two is four, three times three is nine, and four times nine is going to be 36, which is going to give you the least common multiple. So, but the bottom line is, when it comes to prime factorization, you break up each number as much as possible, and then you circle who has the most number of factors from each, and you'll be good to go. And after you multiply them, you'll have your least common multiple. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to find the least common multiple using prime factorization.